We are here in Lund, Sweden, at the construction site of the European Installation Source. Beside me is Adam Pinkala, project leader for Bureau Happold, and Lars Ring, design coordinator for the target buildings at ESS. This is European Installation Source, ESS, one of the largest science infrastructures being built in Europe. It will house the world's most powerful neutron source and provide research facilities for a wide range of disciplines. Researchers will be able to study material on atomic and a molecular level, and this will benefit for life and environmental science as well as energy and transport. One of the major buildings of this research facility is the target building behind us, with experimental halls right next to it. They were designed by Kobe and Henning Larsen Architects, and we, at Bureau Happold, designed a spectacular and highly functional steel structure for it. Let's take a closer look at the design solutions we worked on to meet the complex needs of the ESS. Due to the complex and highly sensitive nature of this building, we designed it to resist the worst possible wind and snow events in 100,000 years and the worst possible earthquake in 1 million years. The roof creates an iconic visual identity for ESS and ties the facilities together. The overhangs you see over here reach as far as 35 meters beyond the perimeter of the building. Our team of facade and structural engineers work together with the architects to develop a semi-porous cladding system. This allows large portions of wind to pass through and snow to fall through to the ground. So this is a very important feature to help reduce the loading and achieve a lighter, more efficient structure. We're now in one of the experimental halls where research will happen. The crane behind me transports equipment for the experiments, as well as ensures adaptability to future needs and expansion. For the same needs of adaptability to future needs, we designed the hall as column three. It spans 130 by 51 meters, so we can easily fit a football pitch inside. We're currently in the target building the central and tallest building of the complex. We're currently standing above the target, the point where spallation occurs and neutrons are produced. This crane is designed to be the highest safety style, as it is required to lift heavy components and sometimes activated material resulting from the spallation process. It can carry up to 115 tonnes, the equivalent of a Boeing 787. We've factored in the many environmental and operational load cases, of uh, how the cranes can work together. We use computational engineering to identify the critical design scenarios arising from more than 2 million design load combinations. It enabled and streamlined the design process. We have been collaborating with Bureau Happel in this technically complex structure for seven years, which requires both experience and expertise. And now we see the end result of the building and it marks a significant milestone for ESS. It's amazing to see how our work is now visible with this impressive structure. We're very proud to have contributed to the world's most powerful neutron source, which will help address some of the most important societal challenges of our time.